Here's a quick drill progression for the cat pass, or you can call it the Kong vault, doesn't really matter. That will help you improve the exit distance or the distance you get out of the dive by improving how well you drive with your shoulders and also how much vertical you get on the takeoff. With that in mind, it's going to look a little different than a normal cat pass practice because we usually transition from a nice static two foot into a running approach pretty quickly because that's usually how a cat pass is done. However, here, so that we can really focus on driving with our shoulders and getting vertical to clear our knees, we're going to start and stay standing as then you don't have, you can't really cheat it, you can't cheat the technique by adding momentum into it. So with that in mind, we're going to start out here, far enough away from the bench that you can clear your knees consistently, planting our hands just at the front. And the challenge here is to pull with the shoulders and see how far you can drive yourself along the bench with each successive attempt add more distance so let me show you so a little bit add more drive a little bit more if you're starting to cap out on distance start jumping vertically more as you initiate and you'll see you can get further One more time with more vertical. Once you've kind of reached the maximal end for putting your hands close here, start to dive out. Extend your hands out a little bit further, plant them further along the bench. So starting out, pretty small dives, and as you get confident, jump further. Real emphasis here is make sure you jump high enough to clear your knees. So here, small dive. Not super far, a little bit further, even further, and one last one for good measure going to the second rivet. That's pretty much it for this particular drill series play with it, try it out, and if it's feeling really, really good, and you're consistently getting distance and clearing safely over the lip, you can start thinking about doing this at a run, again, starting out hands close to the bench and diving out further and further as you get more practice. That's it. Play with it. Let me know how it goes.